Eric, always good to see you, my friend. Oh, it's great to be here. You Thanks. just wrapped up your incredible sketchbook school <laughs> session here on the Disney Vacation Club Ember Cruise. Packed house. People loved it. And I had this idea that rather than our traditional interview, I would sit here and let you teach me to draw the genie, which now as I'm sitting here, I'm realizing this was a terrible idea. <laughs> <laughs> the pressure of sitting next to one of the best to ever do it and try to draw along. This may be bad. But I'm sure you're gonna be great. I will say the ship is rocking, so if my genie looks no good, it's not because of my lack of talent. Okay. It's just All right. the ship. Duly noted. All right. <laughs> okay. So, why don't we start? We're gonna start with a weird shape, a curve, and then another curve, and then a curve like this, kind of like a, a gloopy C, so right. to speak. All right, got it. Okay. And this is actually his nose, so his mouth underlaps his nose. His nose actually goes over it. So I'm gonna start his mouth right about here and then bring that back out to here. Okay. Just that little curve. About how long in development is the process of bringing a character like this to life? I would imagine that a character like the genie goes through a lot of iterations along the way. Yeah, in fact, you know, they were developing the film and the character uh, probably for two years before I even got to the studio. So, wow. you know, a uh, lot, these, these films have lots of parents. And what inspired the look that you ended up developing? Well, two things. Uh, first was Robin Williams himself. I wanted to really make this a great animation performance of Robin Williams, you know, and and so you'll notice that his features are kind of a caricature of Robin. I'm gonna draw a little kind of flat almond here for his eye. How you doing so far? Well, well, jury's still out. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And the other thing was um, we had a production designer named Richard Vanderwen who was doing what I would call Hollywood Arabian production design, where all the S-curves were exaggerated. And I thought, well, what kinds of characters fit in S-curvy environments, S-curvy characters? So I turned to my hero, not literally, but just uh, out of admiration, uh, to Al Hirschfeld, mm -hmm. who was the master of the curvy line. Um, and I started doing very curvy Hirschfeld-esque genies and it seemed to work with not just the, it, the drawing of the genie but the environment and the rest of the characters. One of the things we actually did and it's one of the first times our generation actually did do this was we, we co-designed our characters uh, huh. so that all the supervising animators and the directors and the art directors all got in a room together and the genie was the first character in the film who was really designed and you know everybody else started drawing their characters to have the same kind of curvy characteristics so they could all live in the same universe uh, and it gave us a very very unified cast if you think of Aladdin and Jasmine as the more sedate side of the universe and Iago and the genie as the more whacked out side, uh, you know, but they all live in the same area. They all have these, these characteristic curves to their construction. And so they could all interact together quite successfully. Doing pretty good, not no, bad, not no. bad. <laughs> You're very kind. <laughs> So really that became a, a kind of way that we kept the cast looking consistent throughout the film. Hmm. And I finally got the chance, after we had done Aladdin, I finally got the chance to meet Al Hirschfeld because they invited him to a work in progress screening of the film to benefit the Museum of Modern Art. and. Uh, Susan and I are standing at the entrance of the Ziegfeld Theater and Peter Schneider, the president of Disney Animation, walks by and says, oh, by the way, you're Alan Dolly Hirschfeld's minders tonight. Uh -oh. 
<laughs> so we usher them into the theater. I'm gushing sweat. <laughs> and, you know, he was, he was absolutely very, very gracious and, and loved what he saw. And subsequently, he came, down, he came out to the theater to teach us caricature out to the, out to the studio. Uh, he spent a week out to the studio, he, he and Dolly. Wow. And that was wonderful. So I think you felt the, the pressure sweats there like I'm feeling right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, should we show Let's against my better judgment? Show and tell. It's a reasonable facsimile, which is a tribute to your good teaching. <laughs> Thank you, my friend. All right, thanks, Ryan. <laughs>